Welcome to Brain Soup, the podcast that stirs up the latest innovations, trends, and breakthroughs in the world of technology. We're your host, Cal Miller. Brian Shazadi. And we're here to serve you a bowl of curiosity, one episode at a time. Let's dive into the powerful world of technology in your weekly dose of Brain Soup. Brain Soup. Brain Soup. Oh. On the fly. That was beautiful. Honestly, all the yeah. If this doesn't work out, I think you have a <laughs> second have a career nice, option. Yeah. Second nice career, career option. What would that be, in, sir? I'm not a musician. So. Uh, torture <laughs> for the CIA. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, a musician. Uh, that's that sounds about right. CIA. <laughs> torture for the CIA. <laughs> joking, joking. <laughs> Official torture. No, yeah. I'm joking. If you are hiring. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> if you are hiring. Is <laughs> Guantanamo Bay so well? I, I don't know. Are they hired? That's a good idea. Uh, I bet it pays better. I don't know. It's <laughs> government. Maybe not enough. It'd be pretty intense <clears throat> to be able to sing these songs to people all day. Like, but he'd be having the best time while they're just like... Yeah, it, de- it depends on the perspective. You're just yeah. sitting there and they just like hand you a piece of paper like, can you just sing this to the guy in the cell? You're just like singing all the like letters he gets and it's like, <laughs> Another you're brickle. a jerk, hey, base, we hate you, why did you kill my family? <laughs> Not really my family, but those people's family. <laughs> You're a terrorist. We don't even know, but it's what we think. So enjoy you, your time. You stay. Your melody <laughs> sounds very familiar. <laughs> I'm trying to think of it, but anyway, it's beautiful. It really is. So what do we, we have today? We didn't start the winter. <laughs> we were always repairing at the ice wall. It's the Game of Thrones song, right? <laughs> we didn't stop know. the winter. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> it was always coming. <laughs> but we're at the ice wall. Okay. You know, right. so, you know nothing. All right, Ryan. Right. Right. We have, what do we have today? As we normally have, yep. like, at least one kind of current <laughs> event thing that Ryan probably read today on the toilet in his phone. 100%. What is it? What is you? Uh, what would you like to talk about today? <sighs> so you nailed it on the head. It's when I think the best. Some people do it in the shower. I, yeah. Um, so <coughs> I think today yeah. there's a few things I really wanted to discuss. I'm gonna start off with. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start off with the Mountain Dew. Because this is something that has been interesting to me. I've been noticing for a while, and I don't know how other many... There's probably a ton of people who have been noticing this, but like... This conversation could be a blast. It is. Uh, it'll be a Baja blast. So basically, we have we have this drink that is just like gold, right? It's... it's the Baja blast. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all already know. Have you heard and of it? We, yeah. We see it in stores. We, I mean, sometimes. You see it in store? I buy it when I see it in store. Sorry. Hold on. Wait a second. That's a Taco Bell. Let me, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go, let me go back. Let me go back. All right. So, like, this has been, like, Taco Bell forever. You have to go to Taco Bell to give a hot blast. That's been known. However, they release it to stores. Um, Randall's, you can get it at, I'm sure, H-E-B. I get it at gas stations all the time. It's where I had the best luck finding it. But I found it the other night. And, you know, when I see it, you get it all. Like, what you, you buy it all because you don't see it. So I'm just, like, sitting here, like, I mean, obviously, it's, it's either a play or it's serious, like, there's so much demand that they just can't keep up. Mm. Or, and, because it doesn't say limited time on it, like, mm. on the bottle. Mm. So you're not, like, looking at a limited time bottle, you're just looking at a bottle that you don't see. It does have a special icon on it, though. Does it? It has a Taco Bell logo on it. Even in the store ones? In the store ones? Check it out. I have one right here. Let's look at it. Does it have a special logo I on the top I have one that I bought, I bought two today. We Is shared a one earlier. special logo at the top left? Oh my God! Baja Versary, Taco Bell original. Oh, so it's. Is it a limited edition? It doesn't say. Baja Versary. You think that they're just gonna make non-limited edition stuff on anniversaries? This doesn't Maybe. say. Tell me where it says limited time edition. It says Baja Versary. I would assume that's the year, the time of the year that Baja Blast was introduced. I had to that Taco before. Look, I haven't looked this up. I'm make, taking a guess on marketing because this is how simple I think Same marketing absolutes. is. In big boot. No, I'm saying, I assume this is how marketing is. Is they're like, man, it's the one year anniversary again for the Baja Blast. What should we do? We make another label but, like, and we been, change it from 19th to 20th. But, but if that's the 20th, then they did this last year. So they also did it in 2020 because I remember. Wait, when did this release? COVID. It says 24 on it. Well, obviously, it says 
20th anniversary if you... But no, but I'm saying, like, I was buying them last year since that was the 19th anniversary. So, did they say it on there? No, I don't know. I don't know. I see this now. But there's no limited... It's in August 2004. Yeah. Oh, so the 20th anniversary would be 2024? So then I was right. It's not limited time. Because I was getting it last year. Boom. You ever bought a car that's new? Is it the same year you buy it in or the year ahead? For marketing ahead. purposes. But, however, that's not the same <laughs> as soda. So when they, marketed <laughs> this, when they were marketing this, they weren't planning on printing these if, with the expectation of selling them probably all in 2020. Of course they were. But what I'm saying is they sold them last year without that on there, I can guarantee you. They probably did. Yeah. During their 19th anniversary. Oh, come on. <laughs> so it's not limited time then because it would have been... Like, <coughs> this would say limited time on it, but what it's it? not there. Uh, yes, of course it would. So you can pick it up every it single day. It always says limited time when there's a limited time offer on something. If you, work, if you work for Mountain Dew Corporate, you'll free to limited. comment below. That's not clear that enough because you'll get sued if you don't have that, like, actual thing on there. <laughs> sure, do you see you All right. You'll get what sued. What Karen? Can you imagine? That's like, what happens, There's though. a Karen walking up to, like, Mountain Dew, and they're like, look, I can't buy my Baja Blast. And since you didn't put limited edition on... Sounds My right. bottle. I'm suing you because I expected to wake up this morning and have my Baja Blast. That okay. sounds exactly like the case. Mm -hmm. Baja Blast is a franchise exclusive Mountain Dew flavor available since August 2004 only at Taco Bell restaurants. While originating as Taco Bell exclusive flavor, it then received many retail summer releases until January 2024 when it turned into a permanent flavor for its 20th Baja Bursary and beyond. So we're going to buy Which is permanent? We get to buy so this, this is now the permanent version. <laughs> I get to buy this forever. So I guess you don't need to like. My God, <laughs> I'm not scouring no. anymore. I'm no longer a man. He's no longer having to buy five to twelve at a time when he sees he's just, them. He's just stuck up like great. a squirrel waiting for I winter this to come. Happened two nights ago. Yeah, he did. It was absolutely I saw hilarious. The I, I was like, out. Yeah. "Hey guys, can we go to Randy's so I can get me a soda?" And he's like, "Yeah, that sounds cool. I'll get a soda too." We get there, and he's like. I go to the soda aisle. He goes to the ready to drink cold section. I come back with one bottle of soda. He has an entire <laughs> arms like this holding what I thought was regular Mountain Dew. He should have. He should have asked Hannah earlier. It was an entire armful of Mountain Dew. This year Dews. it's permanent. She said, at, "Wow, permanent 20th, 20th. Dude, seriously, this is huge. This it's is exciting. huge. I'm it's sorry. Exciting. This is huge. This is a new day and age for the Mountain Dew drinkers. I am a big fan. This is all I'm going to drink for the rest of my I life. I no longer going to talk about water anymore. We, I don't. I don't drink water. Dude, I'm a Mountain Dew Baja Blast guy. Ryan, but, we no longer have to go to Taco Bell anymore to have Baja Blast. I'm done. Like, let's celebrate. Yeah, we've already done this once today. I'm down for another one. Are we dropping this out for our homies? You're gonna pour one out. Cheers. 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 You wanna? I want one. Or something like cat. <laughs> <laughs> I better not screw this up on camera. Maybe you should have taken the cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next shot. Mm. Still good. Are you good? You would you like another cat? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I already shared one with the team earlier today. That was really good. <laughs> There you have it. All right, so this isn't a marketing commercial. Imagine we get sponsored. All right. <laughs> All right, so anyways, it's great. I'm happy that they're doing this full time. I, I mean, or permanently. But however, this kind of goes back to our, what we were talking about, I guess, on Mountain Dew stuff. So I don't know. Um, I guess that kind of defeats the whole conversation. <laughs> so quick question. quick question. Anybody out there, the people who are watching, are any of you all excited about Mountain Dew Baja Blast being around? Or do you think we are absolutely stupid for being excited about this? No, this is the worst. Or does this just make us a typical neck beard that would just drink Mountain Dew? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's up to them, really. I mean, it's up to them. All right, well, I mean, I think they're in, gonna... in your case, though, I think, you know, even if it wasn't intended as a strategy, it played to their advantage, you know, like. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, I, I said the term earlier. Uh, scarcity mm -hmm. and urgency. Mm -hmm. It's like the Trix cereal inception, right? So when you grew up, it went with the model, like it had the mo that had like the slogan. Um, tricks are for kids. Like tricks are for kids, right? When you were a kid, what were their shapes? 
Were they spears oh, they were or were they fruits? Hard fruits. scores and horseshoes, clovers, and blue moons. Right? No, that was, that was, what are they that now? Was lucky charms. No, they're just circles. They've always been circles. No, they haven't. They still have they've been spheres. No, they were they were circles now because you're an adult. No, when you were always... a kid, they were shapes. No, they were fruit shapes when you were a kid, and now they're I was adult, a kid at a different circles. time than y'all though. They were a circle when I was a kid. I don't know. I'm telling you, it's they're shapes when you're they're, they're the fruit when you're a kid, and when you become an adult, it changes. I don't believe you. Maybe it's the magic of imagination, or maybe it was a really deep tricks marketing plan for twenty years. They were trying to get you. Right? Like, all the adults, <laughs> 20 years later, would be these adults, right? Like, these kids who were eating tricks one way, being fed this thing. Like, tricks are for kids, so you see them one way. So if every 20 years they shift it, it'll always be different. Did they actually do that? It could have just been an afterthought. Like, What oh. if that is their marketing strategy? Is there, are there different shapes, Hannah? Oh, my God. Yeah, but rather than being, like, a 20-year plan, what if they, you know, like, in <laughs> hindsight, like, oh, it would be cool if we... Hindsight is 2020. Good call. Good year. The cereal originally used <laughs> spherical cereal pieces, but in 1991 these were changed to puffed fruit shaped pieces. Mm. When did they change back? In 2007 they reverted to the original shapes in the United States. I was. Mexico was the only country to maintain the fruit shape. All right. Until 2018. Hold it down, man. Until 2018. Love it. Oh, y'all. Oh, sorry. Oh. Y'all are in the. I'm telling you, it's a tricks marketing ploy. No one's seeing this because it's happening generations at a time, mm. right? So you have to see probably multiple generation shifts in this, right? It's not like a marketing ploy that's going on for one year or six months. Are you sure it's not the Mandela effect? Bro, no, it's not because it's on the internet. Is the internet all seeing? The internet, no matter how you believe in the Mandela effect, the world we are living in is the real one. Whether you came from what it about or the not, Einstein what we, doesn't matter. The world we live in today is the world we live. Whether you were the ones that died or not, I don't care. The world we live in today is the one that's real. Tell me about those who died. Don't care about them. They're not here. <laughs> You're here and he's not. That Ryan don't care about. You're the Ryan I care about. It's funny. About. Like, we're talking about tricks now. Last, I think last I two guy, episodes eh? ago, we talked about Captain Crunch. <laughs> Jesus. No, that was an episode about the Titanic. <laughs> we'll have to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring me back to my... Uh, Nothing to do with cereal. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> that was the Dark Ages. Since we're going to cut that out, uh, you know, we can't really say that. Probably. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know you, you can't can really say, say that? I like it. We can say it. Yeah, you can say it. No, no. Can, This is for the uncensored You can say it. The thing is, it's, like, it's, not, it's like not really like the right thing to say. Well, right now. I could have said that we talked about Captain Crunch and they would have known, but then Ka Cal came in and said the Titanic. <laughs> we, could just cut, we could just cut Cal's part out and leave yeah. the Captain Crunch, right? Yeah. We can leave the Titanic yeah. part out. Oh okay, so continue, continue. Okay. Yeah, and so uh, yeah, uh, so <laughs> I don't know. Baja Blast, good job, man. I'm I'm proud of you. I'm, I really I'm happy want to for talk, you. Yeah. And proud, but I also have another thing to talk about. Mm. Something kind of kind of crazy. Seriously, I mean, serious. it's it's like kind of seriously, seriously. Sorry, uh, it's very serious. It's the AI pin, which I think we've all somewhat pin. <laughs> like a pin. Oh, okay, continue. <laughs> <laughs> now, weird accent. I say pin like pin. Give me the pin. Um, so, um, Monday. Um, so, anyways, uh, we have the pin, right? That you get, and you can put on your uh, your whatever lapel. I don't know who it's called. Oh you put God. it right here. It's your pin. The Star photo. Trek fucking translator. Thingy. Your pictorial. It's you really are aiming for the pictorial with this one. But like I don't know if the the pin's somewhat magnetic, you know, something like that. You fit it in here, but you have like lasers, right? So like my thing with lasers, we've tried this before, right? What do we? I don't know. I'm just like it's magnetic. No, it's magnetic. I was like, the lasers in there, and it was like without context, it sounds kind of funny. Like there's some sort of cyborg or something. All right, so like I've become so somebody got the first implant of the Neuralink. Wow, now we're really <laughs> wow. We just like that was a jump, bro. Like pins yeah. on the outside of the body to Neuralink. Yeah, uh, Neuralink. We'll go back to the pins. Yeah, we'll go back to the <laughs> pins in a second. So the pins, um, the pins are really cool. Uh, so like they're kind of magnetic in the back. You put it through the uh, the shirt or whatever you're wearing. 
you have your lasers that are coming out of the front end, right? So like, you have a camera in the front end and a few other things that can read back like what you're like doing on this thing. It's cool. Um, however, I have always been some man, some kind of guy, who sits here and looks at lasers and looks at your obvious issues, which is you put your hand or finger in front of a laser mm. that's reading what you're trying to do. Mm. I mean, you don't have any input. So how it, reads, does, it reads the depth and where your finger's moving. No, I get that. But like, it's like, what if I'm like this and like, it's just like, how... It how registers can it that read? you did that because the lasers come back at it at smaller points and it follows your hand going across. This is how they yeah. write video games. It's yeah. called laser tracing. Yeah, I guess, but it hasn't worked in the past. Like, they've tried this before. I mean, but laser tracing works now in video games. Does it? Yeah, that's how they build a lot of video games. Wait, which one? I mean, that's how they build a lot of first-person shooters. That's how they build, like, RPGs and stuff. It's, it's what causes a lot of, like, the, like... But that's, like, video games. Like, I'm talking, this is, like, real, like... Where do you know, think a lot of our technology comes from? No, I, I mean, I get it. Like, for, like, cool shit. I have to do lasers and stuff. Like, that happens, like, without the actual laser, but when you're doing, like, some type of, you know, hacking or whatever, like, through, like, IoT devices and such. But, like, with these, they're actual lasers. Like, I get that you can... Whatever, but, like... At the end of the day, I mean, it just doesn't seem, like, feasible. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know, me, like, it's more if like, it's, like, from the past when they had that first, like, initial... Like, so what's, the remember that stick? It, what's the point of it, What's the point? I guess I want to get back to the point. What's, what's, the yeah, point? So, so, what's the point of this pit? So this is That's what I was going to say as like, a device. Like, like I get phone. the lasers. Like, it's supposed to actually be a phone or, like, a conference call thing. So, like, all these things in one. What I thought was cool. Yeah. I don't even need that. I just thought we were talking about like a Star Trek Universal Translator at first. And if I could literally just be walking around and have like an Air AirPod in, and when someone speaks Spanish around me, mm -hmm. yeah, I would know what you said. Yeah. Here, here's, <laughs> like, here's the thing. I mean, this is Not that that's ever happened before, about. Fernando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to give some context, it's like a kind of a, a pin about this size that you attach, and then it has input output. Uh, video uh, photo capabilities and then yeah uses lasers to like uh, I guess uh, like that's one of the inputs for your yeah. fingers like you said and then it's also like so this is how you tap, out lasers like, you tap like, as like a this. monitor screen so you right? put your hand like this like yeah in front, like it's supposed to be shooting and then it shows hand. like yeah. certain text or yeah. things yeah for me though it's it's like the lasers not so much like for me it's not so much the issue it's more like I think it has at least at this stage a pretty limited um, value or additional value to like what a phone would give uh like it doesn't it doesn't exactly replace the phone it's more of like an additional gadget so it's like a pretty limited niche more like a cool luxurious thing to have uh than anything because i mean people still you, you can't really use apps or like um i don't know social media well um you know like those things and, and people like that's part of why people have their phones it's not just for like the basics it's your phone is so many other things besides like calling and mm, stuff it's no longer a Nokia brick yeah exactly. I need so, to know one thing uh, before we carry this on like is this out I think so yeah yeah is it out and being used I believe so. I believe it is I think uh, at least I know there's people that have been testing it and, like uh, you know the critics have but I don't I, I don't know if I saw people who were like testing it that gave their opinions or if it's like out to the mass the mass public yeah uh, Release is March. March. Okay. Oh, so not yet, yeah. But I've seen some people who've like tested it and like are giving their critique and stuff. I don't know. Like, I think it's more like a nice to have, and like I don't, I, I, I think it's like a, I don't see it evolving into something. I, I see more like the combination between like uh, uh, glass wearables, eyeglass wearables, and like the uh, watch wearables. Like that combination, <coughs> that to be more of like with integration with AI. Yeah. Uh, more feasible than like a pin because you know with glasses you have uh, the Huds. ability to do AR, VR you have a HUD, heads up display. yeah heads up display it integrated with AI you know then that, and then like the the wearable like the watch piece is more of like biometrics um, tracking so but yeah it also does utility though right so like oh, I have yeah. the biometrics yeah, like, it has I watch utility. people like I, I'm not obviously um Galaxy Watch or Apple Watch person, but like I watch like so many people do so many different things with them. Yeah. Like it's yeah. not like yeah they have the little. Oh, well, it replaces like, your credit cards. You know you can scan yeah, in like, and do Apple Pay. I watch Pay can, text yeah. message. Yeah. Um, I think some people take phone calls. Mm -hmm. Like they answer them because they usually have their eye their 
their well, and especially in. now if you have like your wearable and yeah, it's attached you to answer your, it. You can like use this as your keypad yeah. while you see it on the screen because that's the bad the bad part with these. Like you have a very tiny small little screen. thing with a little string. But if you have the so, the landscape like, wearables, <laughs> then you have like yeah. So I think. I don't really think because the pin is bulky. It's I can, it's uncomfortable. I can see like it, it's gonna, it can fall. It, I think you know like that's. I don't think there's a, a future could, for that it, kind of thing. It could be right, I but mean, it, maybe, it would be. It would probably ma mainly be in an in input device and not an output device. But input in what sense? Like what and like what I would say is like maybe, maybe they could find something better, right? But I would assume like its placement, right, where maybe its speaker is and things like that might be able to like possibly get like speaker? different sound. What well, not speaker? Um, what we'll, would we'll record sound? Oh, well, microphone. Microphone. Yeah, sorry. Mm, but I mean, but like, I don't think it's like I don't think it'll end up being that way. But if it continues in a way, I think it's primarily like purpose. Type of thing. I think it's <laughs> and, and what I see that is being able to like record sound. And the reason would be is like the power outage is so little that your phone, your watches do take up a lot of power, and people like have to charge their watches every night, right? And if you don't charge your watch every night, that's like. Yeah, but that'll get that, but, but that technology more, will but, get better. But the more things they start applying to your devices, that starts taking processing power, right? So even though battery but life also gets get better, even though battery life gets better, we've been constantly in the struggle mm. of like, like hardware capabilities. But but, of what about, but, but what's versus, the difference with the pin? Is like that it's bigger? No, I would say it's it's more of like it's like a, it's like a specific niche, right? So like at first the phones didn't do everything they needed to, right? Like yeah. your your iPod, your, like your your what are they? What are they called? I what are they? AirPods. AirPods, right? Yeah. They're not so, eyes. Yeah, I know. Whatever. I grew up with iPod. <laughs> but AirPods, right? Like, I watched people use them, and at first, they were just, like, the same thing that, like, they were just musical things, where people were, like, listen to things, and you could talk with, like, a microphone. But then I feel like they added more to it. They started adding things, like, y'all could actually flip, what is that, transparent mode? Yeah, no, no. Right? Yeah, and yeah. then, or whatever. And then there's noise canceling <clears throat> mode now. No, I and agree. Then, so, but, like, it, what I was saying what, is, like. Well, what could you add to the pin that, like, you couldn't necessarily right get? Right now? Because, like, with, with, the, with these, you can also, like, you can hear from them. Like, you can put little speakers there and you can Do you can remember hear. my ones that yeah, I had? You have yeah, yeah. Well, like, I guess what I'm saying is, like, it's a cop-out answer. Like I'm not exactly no, yeah, yeah. sure. Me like, the direction, like, it could go but my somewhere. my yeah, thought is know. the direction will not be. If it turns into something, it will not be something that the person wearing it would utilize. Mm. It would be something that would either be recording or taking in information or having someone on the outside utilizing it. Right, whether that's them scanning something off of you or doing something off of you from that. Mm. Right, and that's where I feel like that might actually have a placement there. But I think the devices that you use, if you look at any kind of like. Thing we've been doing forever like even if you just go back like like the, the watch right you can be like oh well they invented like yeah the watch was there but watches used to only do time but you can go look at football and quarterbacks have the armbands mm -hmm. they do the same thing the armband provides them information and stuff and then they can yeah. pick it up and do it now they have a double screen so okay. like in a sense i'm saying is like yeah, yeah. this developed as just a watch originally and it was <coughs> just a watch and yeah. then now watches had a little bit more capabilities now they do then it was talking to things. Then they had like the the biometric. Do you think those like armbands that like Leela has in the future arm will become like a thing one day? Where yeah, absolutely, thing, like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. think about it. Like how much Possibly, easier yeah. times would it be yeah. if like if you could actually like I'm not. It sounds weird right now, but if you could actually operate your whole business or your whole life on your cell phone, right? It might seem uncomfortable at first, but if you got used to just having your cell phone on your arm, yeah, like yeah. as a wrist, it wouldn't be that hard to well, like do this. I, like, I think it's only a matter of time people for our are phones typing to be on integrated these. into our biology. And to, like, when people want to start watching movies on your, when people want to start watching movies on your wrist or watching the P word online, well, I don't, that's when well, well, these screens are going to get bigger. Like that's what it is. Like think about it. Like that the phone went like was getting smaller and smaller and smaller until we added screens and we were still getting smaller, right? But until we had the ability really to start streaming and being able to watch things on demand, that was really what escalated the size of well, our screens. Well, I don't, uh, yeah, I mean, I think once we get there, I think like what, well, what I can kind of see happening like much later down in the future is, you know, you have some sort of integrated control panel, like bio-integrated and then, but not, not a screen, like this is more like a control panel. And okay. What you have is like a uh, contact okay, lenses. That? That you put in those, that those are your. Screens. I'm fine with that. Like that's you still know, it's like that's. I think those are that's the next step but after like it's the gonna wearables. It's like you you have the um, contact lenses. I would agree with you, but I feel like it will start with the screen. Yeah, possibly. And then it'll turn into what you're doing, and that will come from the technology being able to do what you want it to do. Well, but right. thinking about what you said about like usability for the pin kind of thing, I kind of uh, like I I can maybe think of a scenario that maybe would be useful. Like now with VR. Um, Experiences. I 
I think, you know, people are going to start using or start recording feeds of, like, say, mm -hmm. artists or, say, you know, soccer players, basketball players, uh, that you can see their experience and then people, audience members, can plug into their, like, the VR and have the experience of certain players. Like, oh, Absolutely. Know, it'll, it'll be a thousand bucks mm. to get Messi's feed and you can, but is you it know. And then, so is the it players, reason? well, the players yeah. will need like a little pin or something, probably, as opposed to, you know, because you can't it's wear... It's more reasonable. Uh, yeah. And it'll probably be smaller because it's running with a huge giant pin, you know, mm -hmm. not feasible. But they may have like several different cameras, so they have like a 360 view or whatever. And then the people, the audience members, they can Absolutely. plug into their VR and say, oh, well, I want to purchase the messy experience of the game, you know, so they can watch the World Cup. So what about this? The eyes of what Messi. about this thought? What about or, this you know, LeBron James, you know, they can I watch the game through his eyes, um, you know, or they can watch a concert through the eyes of, I don't know, their favorite artists. Yeah. No, I agree. Um, I think that also there's the... Uh, <coughs> there's also the yeah. aspect of... Uh, Important. Uh, I think Important. so. Um, drones. Mm -hmm. So me and my me and my dad are actually talking in, in when we were in Alaska, and, and we were saying right. like, can let me finish. Right. No, I'm not going back to the, the old Taylor Swift days. Um, I'm gonna yeah. let you finish. <laughs> but um, Beyonce should have won. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> back. I'm gonna have a sip of this actually. Before I well, anyways, so Wait, let me finish. <clears throat> Hold on, let me finish. I'm gonna let you finish. Product placement. So, Wait, drones. Me and my dad were talking when I was on uh, break in Alaska, and, and uh, he was saying that we we kind of agreed on this that at some point could there be a, a possibility in the world where everybody has their own kind of like. You know the you know in the games when you're you're like playing the drone that falls yeah in? like, like the, above the your head that, like yes. in Mario there's a company that like watchdog I know it does I know it exists but do you think it's feasible Absolutely. that there's a world where everybody has their own no. drones no nope. that that you just walk not everybody and obviously but like you know middle class plus like because it's gonna be not affordable yeah there are already drones that like you I mean, program that to track all right if they become it they're gonna be like if you think of, all right. D and D, super nerd side, too, you know? super like, nerd side, right? Uh -huh. And I'm gonna say this is a drone mm -hmm. to me in the super nerd side. If you look at Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons have wizards, and they have an ability called call familiar. And a familiar is a little bitty device, basically, or animal or something that's kind of like attached to them that they can send off and fly, and they can view through it, they can hear from it, they can talk to it, they can have it deliver things for them, things like that. I feel like, in a sense, a drone will become almost yeah. like the carrier pigeon of the future, right? Like mm -hmm. you want to say that, right? Like the familiar is like the carrier pigeon of the magic world, right? That does more than just be a carrier pigeon. Mm -hmm. It can do all else. And that, I feel like the drone yeah. can not only be like a delivery item, you know, a pickup thing, a recorder, a vision thing. It can be self-defense, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right? And so in reality, like I absolutely do believe people will be walking around That'd with drones. Security help. But mm -hmm. the question mm -hmm. will become is, like, how will they be secured? Like, will people, like, will be, like, weapons? Like, can you yeah. just walk around with a well, drone, yeah, like, with a pistol security, on it? Like, is nightmare. there a difference between well, I think of, like, I think of, like, events, like, soccer games and stuff like that, where everybody's just sitting in the crowd with their drone above their head. Mm. No, that, I and, see, like, I don't think... 360 that, views see, I think everything. that, so that would be where I think that would be, like, everybody walking into a game today with a knife. I don't think that drones would be allowed into games like yeah, that. Like, I think that would be, like, weaponized. So, like, I feel like that would be, like, one of those things you're to take in. You know, because hypothetically even filming speaking, people, you know, it can be tricky as well. Like filming people in public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially for overseas and stuff. Like you don't even know the regulations and stuff. Like I was filming in Dubai and they stopped me and were like, "You can't film in public." Yeah. Like, yeah. but going, it'll, it'll be a regulation the, nightmare and yeah. a security and safety nightmare. But but going back to like your original point, mm -hmm. I mean, I like everyone probably and then, and then not. It, like mm -hmm. you have infinitely hackable, you know, feed. Like phones and like yeah, security that's, cameras. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I and mean, like yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, no, good point. <laughs> like, yeah, it just keeps growing. <laughs> so like, I think it's feasible because but well, but but he, in his scenario, he's saying that the drones are like constantly they're attached to you, you know, basically. Like, you know, like imagine your watch shooting that's, footage. 
He's controlling it. As long as your watch is on, it's following That's that's looking at it from a very simple perspective, right? Like, if it's just following you doing footage, no, like, maybe six people will have that out of, like, every, like, hundred people. Yeah. Right? But if you find utility to it, Mm. where it provides something more than, like, camera footage, which is boring, Mm. right? Like, you can do that anyways now, right? Like... I think it's cool. They have that today. Go buy a watchdog. It's, It's on there. It was backed by TechCrunch in 2015. 2016. Like, the drone follows you? Yeah, you put a wristband on, has a GPS tracker on it, and you throw the drone up there and it follows yeah. behind you at your set distance. Oh, yeah, that, they, they that already exists. Yeah. Action yeah. Sports. Oh. yeah, there's actually drones that's that, yeah, and you literally for. throw it and it'll like track you. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. And it tracks yeah. your wristband that you have that's waterproof. Mm. Mm-hmm. And maybe they're not around anymore, but the company was called Watchdog. I'm like 90%. What do you call You can do that to your phone too. You just yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> wow! <laughs> You, in the basket. You just <laughs> chunk it. But, like, like, <laughs> the utility side. Now like, it's um, going to come? I think it was a neat <laughs> conversation, but the utility side, I think it's there. Like, it just has to have utility. And, like, if you look at it, what it is, it's already being utilized for many different utilities and just cameras. Yeah, I just so, think that the, the if they are doing that, the marketing is not doing very good. Because, like, that should be something that sells more. On but what's the what? cost? I don't know what the cost is. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. Think about how much money Oculus has spent, and they haven't profited at all. I mean, yeah. And their marketing's great. Their marketing's okay. I mean, they they tried pretty hard for. I it. bought all their Oculuses. I mean, do you buy Oculus? No, I don't. I don't. Do you buy an Oculus? Oculus? I don't even know you buy an Oculus? I didn't buy an Oculus. It's a very niche product. Hmm. I bought all of them. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm Tech up for the times. Did you buy Ray Bans? That were Meta Ray Bans with the prescription. About? I didn't buy any of those. No. Did, I don't did, remember that. Did you get a prescription, or did you just choose to wear glasses without a prescription to look cool? I had sunglasses. There were sunglasses. They had. They weren't transition lenses. They were. Were they? Yeah, they were. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Why would I wear? Why would I wear just wearing mm-hmm. glasses? Why would you get non-prescription lenses when you have a script? That is a good question. <laughs> I have my eye doctor uh, in uh, a while. <laughs> 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 like, like a long while. I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that, my friend, I think just proved like here's your sign. This is why you bought all the tech stuff coming out. I like the tech. <laughs> I enjoy being up to with the times, you know? Sign of the times. So, so we have a question there sounds. for us for today. Yeah, we have a question brought to us by Hannah. So we'll start with Fernando on this one. If you could turn any everyday object into a high-tech smart device, what would it be and what functions would it have? Everyday <laughs> object. Got it. Hmm. He wants a book <laughs> that has all the books on it that he could just download at any point like time. I don't know. I don't even own one. <laughs> of those. Like, I'm just kidding. I don't own one of those. Funny enough. <laughs> um, so that's a good question. So an everyday object that what that that say again that tracks tracks. I just said smart. <laughs> That's smart. If you if you could turn any everyday object into a high tech smart device, what would it be, and what functions would it have? Hmm. That is an interesting question. Hmm. An everyday object. We gotta get a sand. Okay. Time. How about this? Maybe um, a plate. Well, that has different uh, chemical sensors, and it can tell you the nutritional value of what you have on that plate. And then, Damn. from there, Montrose, it sends you information. River Oaks. Uh, you know, it could be like for meal prep, or it could be like a meal that you already have prep, and so it can send you nutritional information to your phone. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, to track your meals, track your nutrition. Uh, and then you can also pair it with your biometrics so you can see what the result of your meal is to your body uh, and, you know, track your health, track your nutrition. Uh, Mine sucks. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just imagining so how cool a, a that would be. Like, plate, you know? Your, your, like, friend cooks you, like, something or, like, you get, like, leftovers and you just, like, toss your portion that you want on the plate and it's just, like, <laughs> um, 60, you know, 600 calories. This is my mic. Yeah, there's no other answer. Like, yeah, honestly, what the heck? That was awesome. Wow, Fernando, that was pretty good. You, you can, can have it with a complimentary... Dude! You just uh, give somebody that's yeah, like the well, Royal like, Tasters! Uh, you know, same thing with the mug, you can do... You can call your it drinks. The, the Royal Taster. <laughs> you can call it... The, you know <laughs> He's you into the branding it? now. <laughs> <laughs> the Royal Taster? <laughs> like, uh, back in the day, like, the yeah, person yeah, would come and be like, would get hold on real quick. 
Yep, yeah, I'm not that, dead. You can eat this. That famous clip, <laughs> that famous clip with like Putin and uh, Kim Jong, where they're like eyeing each other's or uh, their <laughs> their mugs. No more. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I like the idea of that plate thing because that would be kind of neat. Because like what, like you could press it and it would tell you like no, not what? press it. Like it, no, no, like it, 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 it sends a feed to your phone or to your you know what device. Do you do? And it, but I mean, it tells you and like then the it, ingredients. Like, yeah. Like yeah, that's, so, all the people yeah. with nut allergies, yeah, yeah, gluten. Yeah. yeah, it can give you a. Uh, it can give you like any we kind can't of about the gluten. Papa John's. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, yeah. It can make recommendations. It can give you the percentages. Of like, well, you have this much carbohydrates. You have this much this. You know, I like think about it. think about you know doing this for you know like uh, for your meals, guys. Team, we need to make a fake company. That sole purpose is to make this device, <laughs> and we are going to apply for the startup well, stuff if here. You're, if you're an investor and you, you know, no, 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 no investors, no, 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 no. This is absolutely a joke. Please <laughs> do not invest into us. We are just making a joke of the startup pitching competition He's steal my in idea. areas. Yeah, we're doing this as a group. Like, oh yeah, no, we're no, a no, no, no. As a group, we're going to go All make I this fake company. Group. <laughs> and we're not going to try to sell it. We're literally just going to go join Founders Live. <laughs> we're gonna pitch it. Startup showcase. And we're gonna win Every, competitions dude, and get funding. I mean, not get funding. Not, not, we're gonna we're win, win, AWS win, credits. We're gonna get AWS credits. Easy. AWS credits for BuzzView and BuzzFlix and our brain Tech soup. Rebel's gonna create the software. Yeah. No, no, no. We're gonna make figmas. <laughs> we're gonna make figmas of the software <laughs> that look like software, but they're figma prototypes. You can click them. But it looks like software. Yeah. Is it software? No. We're going to put a plate there and we're going to be like, look, it's a fancy plate. You set it on there. And what happens is it takes the information from here and goes to the device. And then we're going to show it on the Figma prototype. Brilliant. And we're going to do this downstairs. We're going to win $10,000 in AWS credits. Well, Guys. thanks for telling everybody we're going to get $10,000. <laughs> AWS credits is not real money. I'm going on vacation. Jeez, but I think that'd be kind of funny. We should do that as a group, and we do like a documentary style where like we record all the like planning sessions, and then record the pitching. So when we do win something, we can release the video. How this was a whole joke. Hmm. Hmm. Ninety percent sugar. That's hmm. what my cup is telling me. Oh wow, that's crazy. What are you drinking? Sugar? Mountain you don't Dew. Grams of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> the, the commercials would write themselves. How many grams of sugar? Are oh, is that really a skinny margarita? I don't know. Ooh, Let's yeah, see. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Only 147%. No, that is not a skinny margarita. I've added sugars. Not a <laughs> yeah. lot of regular sugars. Yeah, right? Like, take your plate to your restaurant. And let's oh, is see. it really 400 calories? Bloop. That's 520. Oh. Bro, that's like a lot. That's almost a 25% increase. That's over 25%. That's a huge amount. Well, yeah. So that's, that's mine. I, I like it. A, I like it. I think we need to make this into something. We got, don't have much time left, but I think, I, no, it's not even about that. <laughs> like, I'm saying seriously, really, like real talk, like, that's an ing moment. <laughs> that's an ing moment, y'all don't know yet, but that's an ing moment, and we're gonna write a little thing about it, and we need to, we need to do a little joke, this is, this is good. <laughs> this is good. This one's good. Oh, I love the enthusiasm. Beautiful. This one's really good. I think we could, cause I could look, I can look them downstairs, and I can look people that work for Rice, Dead in the eyes and not break into the windows of rice the souls? would be great because rice is you know like the like plate nutritionally oh, oh you're talking about the the, the, the rice plate I like a bowl of rice we can call it the rice plate <laughs> we'll call it the Whoa. rice plate <laughs> oh holy shit <laughs> <laughs> well yeah so what, what about you guys um, yeah what's, what is your all like, right Ryan you go with your smart, smart object smart object. Okay, 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 okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. So, Fernando's got my uh, noodle. Noodling. Your brain soup? Yes. Noodle in the brain soup. <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, okay. You don't know. I mean, I had something, but it seems right, really stupid I'll go. now. I'll go. All those... <clears throat> This somewhat probably already exists today, in a way. Because we say household, and I would like this at my house at a reasonable way, is 
I want a door that just opens when I walk up to it and stuff like that, or like a door when I walk, like like the ones like, at the Ion. Like, yeah, like like that like you have it. Oh, regular no, they're, commercial they're not, not buildings. Not. Why do we not have something like this at our houses? Because we're not rich enough. No, but like <laughs> even no 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 even the richest yeah. families like when I was work, <laughs> doing work for stuff. No one ever had houses like that. They might have doors that auto unlock or do stuff like, but they still rotated their doorknobs and they still did stuff like that. No one had a sliding glass door that slid into their wall. Yeah, they say you know that. But that, or your phone, or whatever. But like, think about it. Like, this has existed in our world for all, like what since we were children, if not before that. Like two thousand years, right? I'm not talking about people <laughs> opening doors for other people. I'm talking about machines opening up for us when we walk up to it. But like, I'm not just talking about. But I'm not talking about like just a regular sensor. That's like a dumb, <coughs> like that's a dumb door that opens, right? Like if it's just a sensor, you walk by and it opens. But a high tech one where like. It walks up and it knows and it that greets I, you. No, but Hello, it knows pal. that it Welcome knows to this it house. knows that Fernando texted me say, "Hey, I'm coming over to your house later." And I said, "Oh, hey, the door's gonna be like no one's gonna be home, but don't worry, you'll be allowed in." And that door was able to understand so that. Can I ID the biometrics of the person to allow? Or your it, phone or... or whatever, and it lets you in. And then like you walk up and the door just opens, shh, you know, and like you walk in and it closes, like, shh, you know, like I know this stuff exists in our regular world today in this commercial environment, and we see it all the time. But this said at home. Like, this is a home smart. And I'm saying, like, oh, the ones one. at work are typically stupid because the device is a sensor and you scan something else and then the sensor still reads you hmm. and opens, right? So yeah. what I'm saying is, that like, basically, is like, this is just your house. You walk up your door a lot. Like, if you close your door, like, it knows to lock it. Or, it's like, you have settings that basically say, like, like, always leave my bedroom door open or from this time to this time, close it. Or, you know, whenever I walk past it, if I'm in the shower, automatically lock my bedroom door. And once my water turns on in the shower, like my like lock the bathroom door. Mm -hmm. Like it That's sounds like, like pets and kids. It mm -hmm. sounds silly at first, right? But like, no, it like sounds, it sounds it's, it's a way no, smarter silly. version yeah. of the at door that we have really today. Silly. Right, well, that's what yeah, I mean. Yeah, like, it's <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. no, true. Yeah, if you can add like, yeah, different <clears throat> smart home functionalities to yeah, it, it, it has a lot of potential and possibilities. Yeah, and I'm not just talking about like the, the unlocking or whatever. Like the whole mm -hmm. functionality of it, you know. And like, think about it. Like when I was in school, like I know at least this existed when I was in college in 2007. Is they had like frosted windows or something? Like they had doors or whatever they could open, and I think like like electricity or something passes so through it, it like, oh. and it frosts. So you could have like a yeah, whole. Yeah. Yeah. glass windowed house mm -hmm. and the smart technology would know from this time to this time auto frost this door or well, and it, it could even what, be like, a screen as well it, like, could it know, shows like, your calendar you have these appointments today yeah like oh, you could walk no up the phone peephole detected. automatically you your opens. phone in your living room like what if a peephole opens and it's a one way window like or yeah. mirror like a one way mirror or like a one way window like like say you're walking up to it like, like you're walking yet? up from the, no someone knocks on your front door you're walking up to your front door, and from the back side, it turns into a one way. You can see the whole person's right, but they body. Can't see you. They can't see you. Mm -hmm. And it normally was just frosted, but now it's this like whatever, or you have it set to that all the time. So you can always see outside, but no one can ever see in your house mm -hmm. until certain times of the day. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think that would actually, like, save a lot of time. Yeah. And, like, like, if it has a little, like, smart doggy door, you know, certain boom. times or whatever, it scans the dog, like you were saying, mm -hmm. for pets. If it's uh, raining outside, it locks the dog. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It would also know if it's a dog or a raccoon. Like that. that. That's actually real videos. You can watch ring videos about that stuff. That's what it exists. But I think a door would be creating not as cool as yours, because I think that's actually real, and, like, we could actually could probably go sell that to a lot of people in certain areas of this world. Hmm. Like starting here in Houston, we're broke. Doors are pretty common. Mm. Doors are good. They're very common. Doors are like, I mean. Okay, try and calculate. Do you think there's more doors in this world or plates? Plates. Yeah, definitely plates. There's absolutely more plates in a restaurant than there are doors. Done. Yeah, I will not be. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, that's my basis, and until someone wants to do the math, I'm going off of that, and I'm done. <laughs> but what about what about an office building? How many more places do you think there are in this? What oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> High-rise hotels, office buildings. <gasps> you meant indoors, to bro? These. <laughs> one, I don't two, think it's three, as simple as it seems. Four, that. five, six. Oh my god! <laughs> and it depends if you're counting cabinet doors. Get out of here! Hand on fridge, fridge doors. Fridge doors. This is doorception. Doors. What just happened? We're going so many doors deep down now. It like, seems simple at first. Hmm? Advent calendars? <laughs> car doors? What about car doors? Dude. Transportation. Do garage doors count? Yep. 
then the door leading in from the garage to the car doors, bus doors. doors. I'm still gonna say, still gonna say it's plates. Really, I would do. But I would say it's a lot closer than I ever even thought, and I made the joke as a sarcastic, rhetorical, almost. I would be interested to hear like comments to see, you know. What 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 you know? Like, what, are, what our yeah. five listeners think? Not joking. <laughs> but I'm going, I'm going with. I still think it's plates, but I think it's a lot closer than you would imagine. And the reason is, I assume most buildings with doors have plates, and more buildings probably have more. You would think about high rise like hotels, apartment. Buildings. And all those people have plates. Yep. I have four plates. Good point. I have eight yeah. plates. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. That are that are nice, and then I have like four plastic ones. And, yeah. you know, but then like you open it up with like cabinet doors, fridge doors, oh, you're car doors? freezer doors, car doors. Yeah. <sighs> this is what we're saying. It's cars closer. don't cars don't have plates. This is what I'm saying. It's no, closer. They have four doors. Have each. Four doors. But there's, the, but the, That's but, a but, good but, but door. But plates. Are we counting teacup plates? Are we count like yeah yeah we can like count all the way up like <laughs> you know. <laughs> 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 Like, but I would yeah, say yeah, it's all closer. plates are. P- it's are closer. Yeah. I will say it's closer than I imagined. Mm. Well, car doors, yeah, car bus doors, doors saucer airplanes, plates, train doors, have tra- plane doors. Yeah. Well, but planes yeah, have planes plates. Only plates. one door, and you have plastic. Yeah. No, they have the emergency door. door. Oh, at least a few doors. Yeah, never sit four. there. Yeah. actually sit there, like I because the then if space. someone has to open it, like you want to be the one that makes sure it gets open. You know, this sounds like it would be. This sounds like it would be like a Google question. You like that? That's you and your No, honestly, can you type that in chat GPT and see if there's? We're gonna find out next week. Okay, we'll see. Let's see from our audience. Dragon Ball Next week we'll give you the definitive. Yeah. Uh, well, there may not Dude. be a good rest. All right, doors and plates. Switch, we need to switch our one. outro. Hmm? We need to switch our outro to next time on Brain Soup. The guys are talking about <laughs> doors and plates. And <laughs> and <laughs> what has this more? Is it more doors in this world? Is it or white? Plates? Stay tuned and find or purple out. And, or blue and black. Ooh. I'm telling you, but we do it in like that Dragon Ball. What did y'all see? I need to know. Well, I kind of I could see both, and, and this, really? is, this is a psychological like whole. It has a whole like explanation to it. Uh, because it depends on the context of lighting. Because colors are subjective, you know. So and colors don't exist until we give them a name. Well, yeah, and, and colors are—it's a subjective experience, and it also well, like is based on the um, you know shading and lighting. So yeah, <coughs> it, it's contextual. So I could I could you, I could manage to see both. Yeah. All right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. The last color, basically, like primary color or like secondary color invented, was like blue. What do you mean? So, like, from my understanding, no, it's primary color, but from my understanding, I could be wrong. In the Iliad and the Odyssey, blue is never mentioned as a color type. The sky is black, lighter black, dark black, and the water is green. But that doesn't make it not a color. But but, 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 but the argument is is, colors don't exist until you give them a name, they become a shade of a different color. Pink is light red until given the title pink. Well, all color is society. is just our subjective Agreed. experience of a but certain we can, frequency of but light. Mm-hmm. In our subjective world, like ours in America, yeah, we tend to we, agree. we say we have pink. Yeah, yeah, there's other countries that don't have pink. Yeah, it's a cultural and thing, and so they say like light red or maybe a different term. Yeah, right. And then it also depends. On, like, actually, that's I, I should have brought that book today. It's the uh, Immense World by Ed Young. It talks about the experiences of senses mm. I think I actually might have mentioned it but mm. um, of like different um, animals from like all the senses not just the five senses but like proprioception and chemical senses and electromagnetic senses and mm. like and it, t- it talks about color and like the su- subjectivity and how different organisms can experience light in different ways and uh, so yeah I, I recommend that book it's not part of my thing but is the color blue in the Iliad or the Odyssey? color blue and what? The Iliad or the Odyssey? Although I wouldn't necessarily make the that Odyssey? just because it's not mentioned. It, it did they have green? Did they have red? Did they have yellow? Did they have purple? But just because it's not mentioned in that they? text, but they would mention all those other colors and not they happen could, to mention one. It could be circumstantial. I mean, I don't know, like because it, it, it's not the Iliad and the Odyssey. It's a it's a very massive text, yes, but it's not the definitive you know text on everything Agreed. that was culturally you know present. I don't know, but that color didn't exist back then. Blue? When it was translated, when that color was, tr- when that book was translated, blue did not exist in the translated terms. All right, I want to hear this. Is it? The color blue existed, but Homer had no word for it. Boom. Oh, okay. Boom. 
So Homer what? didn't have, or was there wasn't any word in the like? So or Homer yeah. just didn't have a he word. He called it different shades of either greens or blacks. Oh, interesting. Okay. The wine dark sea had often been invoked along with the same oh, black of words referred to blue. And that's what I'm trying to say is oh. like wine was a color to them. To blue mm. because it's something they could see right, had that, something that, tangible yeah, too. Yeah, that was tangible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, blue yeah. was this massive yeah, like yeah, thing. So it was shades of different things that looked that way mm. like oh, okay I, I see what you're saying so like greens ex- cool. like that's what i meant is like blue so he explained ex- what blue was through what he already knew because he didn't know yeah. blue as a I, name I, I get mm. so yeah, blue yeah. does not exist yeah, yeah. the color in, blue was never mentioned until we gave it a term blue and we said theoretically from this whatever hexadecimal or pantone whatever mm. like this is what we classify as blue. And then once you go over one or other phase here, theoretically, it becomes green or yeah, it becomes yeah. this or whatever. But we have this thing or it's light blue once it's this shade. But it would also be it as. would also be a cultural thing, too, you know, because like okay. different cultures would have. But that's, that's what I'm saying. No, that's what I'm that's, that's exactly that's what saying, like yeah. is it doesn't exist in that culture mm-hmm. until they give it a term. So like pink that's is like cool. red. Yeah, like blue is wine. Like the more you know. All right. So that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I taught you something about color. Should I, should I take this question right here? <laughs> we're no, we're good. Oh, no, we're, no, we're, we're good. And you didn't, you didn't even oh. mention, you didn't even, oh. Did, did you have one? I have an answer. Do it. I have an answer. All right. I don't want to talk much about it. But I have an answer. And two answers, actually. Oh. And I don't want to talk much about these two answers, but I will. So um, we have. What is it rated R? What is it? So one of them. Rated P. One of them is rated T for time. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, so we have basically tires. Like in Alaska, I noticed everybody has two sets of tires. Uh, one is studded and one is you know regular. So that could be like smart. Basically, you could put out the studs whenever you're you know ready to start driving in the studded weather. You draw them back in, or it could be automated to where you know it can read the For weather. Additional traction. In yeah, because you need studs. You can't drive in the winter in Alaska without studs, yeah. and that's most of the places that get cold. Secondly, shower. How long does it take to find the perfect temperature? A long time. Imagine just being able to. Do you not use the same setting all the time when you shower? Dude, I move. Your it. shower doesn't have a button to I have press to, it to I set it to a temperature. I have to. No, I didn't have a button. You have a button. Yeah. You should come over sometime. <laughs> shower, like bro. Shower. Hey, boys, after this, let's go meet the showers. No, I don't have that. <laughs> I have, uh, no, I don't have that. I just too. turn it to the same spot every time. No, what I'm saying is, but it's never the perfect spot. Like, if you could set it like, the same spot every time. No, what I'm saying is, but it's never the perfect spot. Like, if you could set it like. Just degree by degree. I no. just have like I a, a marker, this like degree. line. That it's like the setting in your car, right? Like How like happy would mm-hmm. you be if it was the perfect temperature? I, like, I mean, I've not, installed stuff not close, water for that, so but yeah. the I mean, every time I've installed that for I've installed that for faucets. Now that's my dream because I love. I love well, here's water. another. Yeah, well, and, and, and then your smart shower could give you. Okay, this is how much water you use. For the mm. shower, mm. and this is you know like uh, well, I don't know what else. They have smart <laughs> keg taps, so it wouldn't be very hard to. Attach I don't think it would be very it. hard. Like no, you could easily just a sense, do that, bro. Yeah. You could easily do that. Yeah, like easily. You know, I can control. He could do that easily. Easily. They already have the sensors. Yeah, they Listen. already have it. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm thinking. This could be another fake company. I, I'm thinking we have another pitch. We have another pitch competition. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, that's a, that, yeah. I mean, they're, yeah, that, it's feasible. I don't know. It's it's not it's not like it's like crazy. Like it's not like out there, but it's like it's something that would make a lot of. I think that. But I think I would enjoy it. I think like, a lot better if I, I think had a nice like, shower. Like, it's like, like actually gosh. getting it to the temperature desired. Mm-hmm. It also, is like it's more of a complex. Uh, system of like mechanical and you know, like all the parts mm-hmm. that you know to like heat the water but if there's like um, a gauge that basically kept this from there so like halfway through you have a gauge it's like okay so this is going to come through here if it's this temperature we're going to put something to make it to this temperature right oh like, so you're saying it won't release the water until yeah it's until it's that temperature? temperature yeah oh okay right yeah, right so, so it actually it kind of heats it, it yeah holds it and then once it has the no, you get in, you're releases. ready to go. Like okay. you're not wasting water. Yeah. You're not yeah. waiting for like you. two minutes, three minutes oh, yeah. to the water no, heat great. up. Like yeah. you can do it immediately. You're you're getting going and you're set. You know, like, yeah. I don't know, saving water and and also getting adjust, the perfect temperature. Adjust your pressure. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, with the touch of a button. Sick. Dude, I always buy the nice pressure. shower heads too. 
Mm. Like always, because like it's like, dude, like who, why am I use this basic you know thing it comes with if I can just get like you know the whirlpool like <laughs> all the massage setting you know like <laughs> yeah it's nice man it's nice it's unique it's different. All right, all right. So that's pretty much a wrap. Yeah, I think for us. So uh, hit it. Oh wait, wait. Oh, but, but well, next uh, time Ryan, you don't get to talk about three things. I only said two, and you guys talked on your things a lot longer. But your than two I did. things. I'll make it two minutes long. All right. All right, let's go. Two minutes long, let's do it. All right. Well, <laughs> well, there's a, a serious point. Right here. This one is called Myths Behind Words. Uh, I actually bought it in Athens. It's about Greek mythology and English words and expressions. Uh, so, yeah, it's pretty cool because a lot of the words that we use in everyday language in English co- obviously come from Greek, uh, you know, ancient Greek mythology mm-hmm. and culture. So it's just a book with all a bunch of these. What happened to Latin culture? Well, that, yeah, Roman. Well, I mean, a lot of the like Latin Romans just kidding. basically just took. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I was gonna make into like a little uh, guessing thing. Where do you think uh, the word erotic comes from? Eroticus. I was gonna say that. He was the philosopher about basically how to like enjoy yourself, not hedonism, but like enjoy yourself in like more, I would say like what we term as like erotic things, so like sexualized things. Is that true? Correct. What? Uh, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh my I'm God, joking. you guys are <laughs> so good. Thank you. That was <laughs> a very fancy moment. <laughs> I needed to see this. All right, good. Put it back down. He seems so Put excited. Put it back down. Sorry, to like, sorry, I totally just made it up, so I was like, this is bullshit. <laughs> it sounds believable. He said eroticus, erotic and I was like, yeah, 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 that's what I was going to say. No, I was sorry, I'm sorry to break, burst your your bubble. Uh, Ooh, the eye on. It was Eroticus. nice. It was very believable. Yeah, honestly. But no, it, it so it comes from <laughs> Eros, <laughs> Eros. <laughs> who is the the Roman equivalent would be Cupid. There you um, go. Kind of Eroticus. You're pretty close. Yeah, I mean, you could have called him that as a nickname, bro. Like, that's a, yeah. me and Cupid go back. His name's er, I Eroticus. like that Eroticus. I mean, it sounds good. very that's you nice. know. It's like I did. Yeah. I was like, he was a philosopher. Yeah, yeah. From it, was like the, it was like, like he, was, he would believe himself. Like yeah. I started just going. I was like, this has to be where it's at. Like yeah. we're just piecing things to. It's a template to philosophy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it, ha- it has like a little paragraph. It says, "Arrow sprang from chaos. Oh, straight from chaos, and is thus a primordial god who presides over loving desire, causing his victims to fall in love even in spite of themselves." The irresistible attraction he generates between lovers guarantees their procreation. In Hesiod's telling, he was the third god to come into existence along with Gaia and Tartarus. So he was like one of the sort of earliest primordial... And Tartarus? And Tartarus. Tar- Tartarus, yeah. Oh, Tartarus, yeah. Yeah, Tartarus. Like, like underworld. Oh, he so did he make the sauce. And and Gaia, Tartarus Gaia made Mother the sauce. Earth. Yeah, he did. Uh, so yeah, and, and <laughs> the equivalent would be... I'm not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so and the, the equivalent is Cupid. So yeah, just... That's the small. So erotic, erotic comes from Cupid. Eros, oh, Eros, Eros. Yeah. So Cupid, yeah, Cupid's the name. Greek the Greek Greek, yeah, yeah, the Greek original Greek god is named Eros, and then you know the Romans took like basically all of the Greek gods and uh, you know converted them like Jupiter or uh, Zeus was Jupiter and uh, so on. Uh, so yeah, Cupid would have been or is Eros. Okay. Or eroticus now. So do we believe in demigods? What's, do you believe in gods? Believe? Time out, time out, step one. Do you believe in gods? I mean, do I, we believe in no, gods? No, question. You ask, <laughs> I have more do we of, believe in demigods? I have so. more of a philosophical perception. But do you think that there are, do, do, you, do you see the gods as being, you know? Not, not in a literal sense, no. no. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a literal uh, belief in like, yeah, in, Demigods. We can and cut any of this religious stuff. And out. Relig- yeah, was that? Was that? So we can cut any of this religious stuff. Oh yeah, I, I, I find it they cut my religious stuff out. I, I love talking about religion, <laughs> learning about different. <laughs> but religions. I said you're one to talk. They cut my stuff out, bro. Your shit was. My what? Jesus stuff didn't go on there. Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> oh no, I'm just saying that, like me personally, religions. like I love learning about different religions. Right. I'm not particularly religious in like the traditional sense, and you know, not. In, not in so much of a literal sense, but I mean, you know, I'm also open-minded. That's just me. And I love learning about mythology and 
Yeah, are demigods different. written about in Greece, like Greek, like thing? Is it or is well, it a thing we've kind of constructed? What are demigods? Demigods, I mean, kids of gods and okay. mortals. Yeah, I don't know yes, if the term are. demigod is, but yeah, I mean, there's there's different. There's is Achilles one of them? Is he considered yeah, well, a demigod in that world? Uh, I don't know. Because Hercules, Hercules is. Yeah. Hercules, yeah. Yeah. Achilles. Achilles. You mean Hercules? <laughs> okay, Hannah. <laughs> okay, Hannah. Hercules. <laughs> wow. I love it. Well, that, was, that was one of the muses, right? <laughs> Which, where we get our word for museum. Anyway. From the museum. All right. Real quick on museum. I was this many years old today. On recreation, where do you think that word comes from? Recreation. I-O-N. The state of being. The state of being? I-O-N? Yeah. I-O-N. At the end of recreation. Uh -huh. It's the state of being. So what does recreation come from? Like, the whole the word? Origin? Like, like what? recreation... Like, right, when you think of the word recreation, mm -hmm. what's your definition of recreation? Like, where do you think recreation kind of comes from? What's like, What does ION get added to? Recreate. Create, like, so from create. So when you thought like at to, school, when you were like, oh, I was in recreational basketball, mm -hmm. you were like, I recreated basketball. Oh. I was in the state of recreating basketball. <laughs> I always thought my whole life, re <laughs> like, recreation, You're like, recreation the is like, Something you like almost did as a group that was like a like a sport like I never thought of it as like you're recreating the act of the real thing. I don't think you got it. Recreation is like recreate the state of being. I O N recreation. Mm. So you're saying you did like see it as like you're recreating? Something? No, I always thought it was like recreational. Like thought it was like recreational, like rec it's own like its oh. own word, like it's a recreational yeah. sport. Well, it is. Yeah, yeah. But it's taken on. Like, I never, but I never thought of the word recreate. Yeah, I dropping the e, adding i o n, and it being mm. recreation instead of recreation. Mm. All right. So you yeah. Well, like yeah. it does have this new meaning of recreational means. Relating to things people do in their spare time to relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the meaning but I that's always the meaning attributed to. Added on to it because when you recreate, like, anyways, I don't know. Recreation. Well, you're, you're, recreation. You're kind of recreating yourself by doing work Anyways. Stuff, right? All right. So but we're done for our time <laughs> today. <laughs> and uh, I guess that's a wrap. Since we started out with a sing-song version, I'm going to end it, the Love outro, it. with a sing-song version. <clears throat> <clears throat> me, me, me. <clears throat> All right, so that's a wrap for this episode of Brain Soup. We hope you've enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit subscribe. If you'd like to stay updated with all the things tech and continue the conversation with us, follow us on social media. Brain Soup, we're talking tech and other things. If you have a burning tech question or topics you'd like us to cover in future episodes, comment below. Thanks for joining us. Until next time on Brain Soup. CIA, if you're hiring. <laughs> okay. Here you go. <laughs> Here you go, guys. Yeah.